bosses. More bosses. And so, when I got elected, I looked around and noticed that sometimes we weren't getting the buses we were promised. And I spoke to my brothers and sisters here at the Nebo and found out that sometimes they just don't run them. So we brought that to Daryl Eyring and said, where are my buses? And he said, we'll get you new buses. And so we got 79 new buses, and I have a press release from Governor Cuomo promising 79 new buses for the Tuskegee Depot by the end of the year. Now, I try to keep my word, and I think Checking I always have the TWU. Yeah. And I know that we're concerned, family. and we've heard, and we've seen that a couple of buses have been moved, and uh, I will be there along with every elected official along the M101, 102, 103, and that's everybody from the top of Manhattan to the bottom to make sure that we keep our new buses here at the Tuskegee Depot. But it's not about me, it's not about the buses, it's about our operators that keep the buses moving every single day, no matter how bad the traffic may be. So the first person I'd like to uh, bring up uh, is somebody who I want his vote, because he lives next door to where I work. Uh, if you can uh, join me in welcoming Barry Faulkner. Yay! Hey! He's a resident and a leader in Council District 5. He's one of our skilled bus operators here at the Tuskegee Depot. He provides unlimited amounts of volunteering uh, for us and the community, and uh, advocates for constituents and transit workers within City Council District 5, and he's also going to be really mad at me, but you're going to apply to Community Board 8 in January <laughs> next year, and then you're going to give us about 15 to 20 hours a month on the Community Board. What do you say to that? That works for me. Okay, so uh, it is my honor to present a City Council citation to Barry Faulkner. Like to say a few words? No, I'm good. <laughs> Don't be shy now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, everybody. I uh, just want to say thank you to Ben Carlos and uh, to C Depot. Uh, we're the best depot in the system. We have the best operators in the system. We have the best union in the system. We have the best chairperson in the system. We are the best in the system. And um, I just want to thank you. Next up, I'd like to welcome, if you can join me in welcoming Harriet Goodridge to Seymour. of the Leader Support Program and an active member at Tuskegee Depot advocating for our transit workers. Thank you. Go Harriet! Go Harriet! That's my vice chair. <laughs> that right there. Huh? I like to say thank you. That's my vice chair right there. I like to say thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. We have one last citation which we will be providing to one of our brothers and sisters who can't join us because they are celebrating an anniversary and their lovely spouse sub surprised them. Uh, David Frazier is a skilled bus operator at the Tuskegee Depot. He's a member of the Leader Support Program, active and advocating for issues of transit workers and community service. Uh, please give him a round of applause. All right, David. David. So David.
he's not here to accept this award, so we're going to present it to him. But David is well deserving, and then some. He's been working at Tuskegee for many, many years. He's been participating a lot in the union activities. And he's also going to be retiring soon, which is an unfortunate loss because he's done so much for the membership here behind the scenes, and he's well deserving of this. And I'll present him. I know he has to buy his anniversary from his life. So happy anniversary. That's the reason he's not here. Thank you. Anybody who want to join you from Tuskegee, take this picture. You can join in if you like. Come on, we got a little closer. Come on, get a little closer. Y'all know how y'all like to follow us on the road, right? Let's go. Come on, Flex. Can you get it done? Ruffin and all the staff, people, everybody who worked the committee in presenting us such a beautiful, wonderful family day for the city. Thank you all very much for coming out. Thank you. All right, brothers and sisters, that's um, that's a uh, family day over here at Tuskegee Depot. Um, we're just getting started. They just handed out some awards, and um, listen, we in the house here. Uh, just wanted to bring something back. All right, thank you, brother. I just wanted to bring back something live for you guys. All right. Um, anyway, it's all party here. Everybody's welcome to come on down. It's all good. Anyway, um, quickly, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. One of the th one of the major issues. Hey, um, one second. Hey, Harmon, Harmon, come here for a second. Hey, y'all always see me doing live. Come over here. Y'all always see me doing live. I just want you to know this is my partner in crime. Helps me fight cases. And, and that's um, Terrence Harmon and, and Harriet Seymour Goodrich, who, who's um, floating around serving food, helping out the people. So this is what we do. We, we like to give back to the community. And, you know, um, what's the date, Harmon, for the um, Michael J. Quill? Michael J. Quill, um... Softball game. All right, there's a soft. There's a September 22nd. September, September 22nd. Yeah. Yeah, I think September 22nd is a softball competition between Michael J. Quill and Tuskegee Depot and Metcalf in the Bronx. Be there. Be there. Anyway, um, want to talk to you guys real quick about a few things. One, I think one of the major things I want to talk about is the sleep apnea thing that's going on. Um, there's a lot of injustices that taking our they're taking our people out of service left right and center it's creating a lot of overtime triple time whatever the case may be our people are starting to be overworked all because transit doesn't have a policy on sleep apnea that they want to stick to so now a grievance has been filed out of the ta surface division um willie rivera um, it's an et al grievance uh, that means we're all included in the grievance. Um, uh, Chris Lightborn is attached to that. Um, so um, Carlos Saliva is attached to that team surface. So this is um, something that, that's going to be a, a huge thing. I know the membership is, is probably pretty much finding out about it, and we're trying to do, we're doing a little bit of a fight back only because transit don't stick to the to their own agreements, as usual. That's why you need a union around here. But um, that's basically my message today, unless anybody got anything for me, you know. But um, if you if you want, feel free to come on down to this uh, wonderful, wonderful day over here at um, Tuskegee Depot, you know. Um, Friendly people, nice atmosphere. Very good, very politically involved in here. Um, this people was promised a certain amount of buses, new buses. They've been stripping them of the buses over here. 
and giving them to communities of, uh, let's just say, of, uh, let's just say that it's racially motivated. But uh, anyway, I want everybody to be safe out here. And um, we can continue this conversation offline. And um, I'll check in with you guys next week with another FaceTime Live. Be safe.